Hey everybody, it's me. It is Tuesday night. I'm in Winston-Salem at my daughter's adorable little a house that she's renting with her new husband. Um, and for those who I have not shared this with, he is the new marketing team manager at the Whole Foods in Winston-Salem. And, uh, and they've moved down here about two months ago, right before the wedding. And now they're happily ensconced in their lovely little newlywed home and are very happy. And I am here. My daughter, um, her husband is at a workshop thing for two nights. And um, this is my last night here visiting my daughter, Louisa. And um, my daughter, Emmeline, is also down here with me. They are at a local establishment that they could walk to to have a couple of beers and play darts, which is kind of cool to think you live somewhere that's uh, suburban enough that you've got really cool old vintage houses and yet you could walk to the local pub. Uh, I am here having a quiet moment with my computer and my dog. Actually, he's not my dog. He's his own dog, as we should all be our own dogs. Um, his name is Pac and I talk about him a lot. He's laying here next to me. I'm on the sofa. And there's my bubble boy. Puppy? Puppy? I say hello? What you doing? Baba? Look at mommy. You know I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I think you can see him. Puppy? You want to say hello to my friends? Say hello, everybody. My name is Pac. My mommy named me after Tupac Shakur way long ago, which is not very nice nice name for me but that's what I have I don't know it's my last night with my other mommy but she is enjoying her time with me so you see guys Pa came to live with me for about three years when Louisa went and joined the commune and she couldn't have him and I fell in love with something that I had no idea was even possible I mean I always had cats but now I have a puppy and he means everything. I mean, except for my family. I know this sounds really sad, but I got Pac the same time I had my gastric bypass. Right, Bubba? And, um, he was my partner. He was my walking partner every single day. I couldn't not go walking because Pac needed to walk. Pac would look at me with those big brown eyes and he wanted to go out and so we went and in the beginning I had a hard time keeping up with Pac and then eventually we switched places and he had a harder time keeping up with me I got thinner and stronger and healthier and he got older and um, now he's about nine and uh, he gets to go back and live with his first mommy um, he's very spoiled he has three mommies me and my other daughter who lives with me uh, recently and uh, Louisa his original so he'll be okay here I brought seven bags of dog biscuits two bags of fake bacon treats and uh, 10 pounds of ground turkey so she can make him uh, his dog food like I do every day I guess eventually she'll either figure out how to get him to eat something else to make her life easier or she'll continue to cook for him um, I guess I just wanted to say hey and say I feel like I've really been missing. Um, I'm kind of sad. It's my last, my last night to see my daughter. Bobby, that's okay. That was the TV. There's nobody coming to the door, honey. This is the one good thing about having this dog. He's sweet as pie, but he does bark if anyone strange is coming to the door and he watches out the window, which is a good thing. Um, and my last night uh, with my daughter, Louisa. And, I mean, it's not like I know I'm not coming back because I will, but as much as I want to go, it's still hard to leave your comfort zone, your you're the people you hold dearest. Yeah, I'm going to be an ocean away. An ocean away from the people who mean the most to me in the world, except for my husband. And it's hard. Um, 
and I think leaving the, the dog today, leaving the dogster, is hard for me too. And uh, except for you guys, <laughs> he's the person I talk to the most. God, it sounds so pathetic. I'm very, 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 um, feeling very sentimental and emotional these days. Um, I think I've been trying to block a lot of stuff out, but you can't do it all. You know, what can you say? You can't do it all. But I'm really fine. It's just typical mom stuff. It's mom separation anxiety stuff. And, um, Steve's gone home. He was here for Father's Day weekend. Um, he's finishing up stuff in the house, and I know he's doing a great job. We're just waiting. So anyway, I've been a little off track with my eating, which I know is fine. I mean, everybody does it, but at the same time, it doesn't make me feel better. You know, when you eat really clean, and then you eat junk, or it's not even junk. If you go out as often as I've gone out with my family over the last few days you are in restaurants and you make good choices but they're not like you know exactly what's in everything and I didn't always make good choices because it's sort of like my vacation I can tell you that the things I wore that were a size 4 do not fit quite as well as they did um, a lot of the things I wear for the summer are skirts that were probably between 6's and 8's if I saw a skirt I liked I just bought it and so, if the waistband hit my hips, it didn't matter because it was made a little longer on the leg, which was better for my knees. Um, but, yeah, things aren't as loose as they were. But you know what? It's okay. Uh, I've had to learn that uh, living without my scale, since it got packed, and it was up when it got packed. My weight was up a few pounds when it got packed, not just a few pounds, like, from 131 and a half to 133 is my range where I'm happy. Um, it had gone to 137. And God help me, I have no idea what it is now. I'm trying to go with the flow. And, and you know, I know when I get back to my own life, I can get the choices under control. Actually, I don't feel like crazy um, in my choices. I don't feel like something has taken over me and is driving me to eat. I don't feel like that. Earlier when I had more anxiety before the packers and the movers came, I felt a little of that. Now it's just a matter of I'm on, I'm away from home, I'm on vacation, we're eating out, we're doing different things, I'm having more wine, I'm having more beer, things I didn't really didn't, I didn't, I mean I might have had a glass of wine and a drink on occasion, but I didn't go out and drink beer, but I've, you know, I might have a beer, but the point is, if you've gone out three or four or five nights, you know, I've had more alcohol than I usually have, which is another whole thing, but mostly it's just the calories and uh, the empty calories and, uh, but, um, you know, that'll detox off of all that. Speaking of detoxing, I, um, just watched an awesome movie. Um, called, um, oh no, what is it? Something, something fat and nearly dead. So, oh shoot. It's by an Australian filmmaker. Um, sick, fat, and nearly dead. It's excellent. You should definitely try to see it. I watched it on Netflix. Sick, fat, and nearly dead. Or fat, sick, and nearly dead. Um, it's about a man who had an illness that he couldn't do anything about. He was on meds. He went on prednisone. He blew up he decided he would do a juice fast it was fascinating and it just shows about his journey and what he did and how he inspired other people and um it's interesting so if you haven't watched things like um you know forks over knives or um fat sick and nearly dead you really need to do that for yourself um fat sick and nearly dead will really show you that even though we think it's tough eating properly after weight loss surgery it's nothing like doing a juice fast for 30 to 60 days. Um, and if this man could do a juice fast for 30 to 60 days, surely we can just make the best food choices we can every day. Um, these people lost what it took weight loss surgery for a lot of us to lose just by doing this um, juice fast. So it made me really want to start doing... Um, green smoothies and things like that when we get to the UK I bought the blender and I was going to do it for my husband in particular but now I'm really motivated to do it for myself if only just every morning 
you know, to do a green smoothie every morning. Um, and who knows? I might really want to detox and um, reboot uh, what I'm doing. So we will have to see. Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry this has rambled on, so it's probably not worth watching, but I'll save it anyway.